Cool. This one. Okay. We're recording? Yes. All right. Cool. Cool. Battery life? We've got to watch that, I guess. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, guys. Um, this video is mostly for the boys on Udict and ladies, of course, everybody. Um, and I'm recording this particular perfume because I'm using very, very expensive materials. Therefore, I can't sell it cheap or I'll lose money, obviously. And I wanted to record every single step. And for the guys on Udict, I'm going to send you samples and these little bullets. Okay. And I'll actually put the perfume like into these bullets. Um, and uh, so there you go. Um, you'll be able to see the whole entire perfume completely transparent from beginning to end. I don't think anybody else is doing this, um, but you know, I'm not competing with anybody. I just want to show very honestly that I'm using very good materials. So um, the first material I'm starting with is um, UC Oud's Hainan Sweet, um, which is a really nice, I would say medium powered Oud. Um, and we have it right here from Jeff at, at UC Oud, all right? Um, pure oud oil. I think UC is the largest farm of oud in China, is, 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 uh, if I'm correct. And Jeff's using some really nice technologies now to extract um, and to grow farmed uh, kinam. Um, so this is farmed Hainan sweet uh, oud. And uh, I have a lot of great materials today, really exciting. I have uh, Rose Auto. And guys, if you purchase Rose Auto at room temperature, it shouldn't really be melted. It should be kind of almost um, solid. That's real Rose Auto. And it should be greenish in color because that means it's fresh and it hasn't been oxidized. Um, if it's yellow, that means the air has gotten to it. It's, it's oxidized partially. So this is pure and natural rose oil auto, not rose absolute. This is like 10 times more expensive than rose absolute. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's so intense. It's so, it's like a jam. I, I don't know. It's just amazing. Here I have some Oris butter. Real Oris butter. Fifteen percent irons from Italy or France. I'm not sure. I gotta check. Um, Oris butter here, and I'm going to put this in some hot water in my dish, um, just to make it easier to work with because it's a solid now. And I'll put the rose oil in there as well to make it easier to work with. So that's kind of a common trick. Um, I have some sandalwood Mysore here. I haven't even opened up the bottle yet. Mysore sandalwood, um, from this one is from the Perfumer's Apprentice and they get it from the largest Mysore farm uh, in the world, like the largest manufacturer of Mysore sandalwood. Um, I have some Orange Blossom Absolute, which has a very unique smell. We'll get to that later. And some Jasmine Grandiflorum Absolute. I haven't even opened it up yet. This is Jasmine Grandiflorum Absolute. From India, very deep, very... Um, very animalic, very indolic. Um, it's very, very rich. It's really amazing stuff. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff, so let's get building. Let's start building this perfume. This video is gonna be a while. It's probably gonna take like an hour. Uh, but again, I wanna show you guys the entire process of what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with quite a bit. I have my formula here. Um, 
I have my formula here. I'll make, for the moment, 50 grams in this, in this bottle here. 50 grams. We'll start with that. And um, because I don't want to use, you know, make a million dollar formula and then nobody buys my perfume, that would really suck. <laughs> so I'll make 50 grams first at a time. Uh, so I'll start with some Hainan Sweet Oud. And just to let you know, the Hainan Oud in this formula is 25% of the entire formula of the perfume. So 25% of the formula is Hainan Oud. Have it here. Can you, you guys can see that there? Okay. Very rich, very warm. This is taking forever. I'm just pour it in there. Okay, 25 grams. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm making 50. I'm making total 50 grams. What's half of 25.5? Half of 25 is 12.5. Almost made too much. 12. 12.75. Thank you. My assistant, who doesn't like to be named, is showing me the correct numbers. He's in my brain for the day. <laughs> Boys, I hope you enjoy watching this video. You know, it's a lot of fun. Um, I, 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 I just want to make really, 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 really good perfumes. Like that's, I'm so lucky. Um, so it's 12.75. I think you said here, right? Yeah. 12.75. All right. 12 point. No, that's eight. Let me take out a little bit. Portions have to be right. I was working on this formula for our, ever. All right, 12.75 grams of high non sweet wood from UZ. Jeff, amazing. It's gonna be a nice attar. Jeff's oud is nice. If you want, the high non is a really nice medium strength, guys. It's smooth, it's buttery, it's a little bit cinnamon-like. It's, um. We won't name you, but what would you say are your observations if you smell this? Come on, let's get another voice on the tape. What would you say? What are the, what are the, it's, it's nice, eh? It's like so smooth and cinnamony and a little bit cinnamon, right? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Like dry grass, maybe? Like a dry, there's a bit of a green to it. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, you can, um, that's because Jeff uses different, he, he has, I, as far as I understand, this is a CO2 cold extraction, and then, so he, anyways, he's getting the top notes and the middle and the base notes, mostly middle notes in this one, but you can smell a little bit of that um, Kinam green, um, a little bit of vetiver, actually, aspect to this um, oud here. So that's a high nine. Next, guys, we've got the Mysore sandalwood. Okay, I haven't even opened it up yet. I wish it came with a, yeah but I will swear on my mother's life that this is what's in there, okay? Yeah. So, oh, look at that ant. Um, sandalwood Mysore. 10.3% uh, of this perfume is sandalwood Mysore. So 5.15. How's the battery? It's good? Mm -hmm. I had the choice between this Sandalwood Mysore and 5.15, if I keep, okay, perfect. 5.15 Sandalwood Mysore. And um, Eden Botanicals um, Organic Hawaiian. 
But the organic Hawaiian um, sandalwood is really dark and deep, and I wanted the oud to shine through on this formula. So I've got that. So we have sandalwood mysore. Oh, you can actually see the separation. See that, guys? We've got the oud on the bottom, and we've got the sandalwood mysore floating on the top. It's quite beautiful. Can you guys see that? It's nice, eh? Awesome. All right, next, we've got some lavender. Um, I'm using today, I'm using Lavender Diva from France. It's a sweet lavender. It's high altitude. Oh, sorry, guys. I know it's not cool. I'm, I'm not actually touching anything. I'm just, I, I, have a, I have a bad habit. Ever since I was a kid, I always use my teeth for everything. But So we've got some lavender. And the reason for the lavender is, of course, we need to um, bring some lift and some top notes. Okay, thank you. My, my, my partner is uh, like, don't use your mouth. You, you should uh, use a little tool to open stuff with. That's true. That's true. So we've got some, introducing a couple top notes here. We need a little bit of lift into this perfume, um, especially because it's all natural. Um, so 10 point two, uh, oh, uh, okay, cool. I put a little too much, but it's okay. I'll, I'll write that down. It's not going to hurt anything. It'll make it nicer. <laughs> All right. So we've got, um, can, could you hand me a pen? Thanks. So we've got lavender. You can actually see the three layers. Um, oud and sandalwood in there. Next is um, 8.9 sweet orange, and I need to cut that in half. Sweet orange. Um, oh, thank you. I just use this. Could you possibly um, hand me the sweet orange? I think it's from the fridge. I'm in my little. I'm in my little um, laboratory here with my roses and my fake background. You know, I'm very small. I make everything in my bedroom. Um, it's going to be in the freezer probably, in a larger jar. Yeah. While he's getting the sweet orange, um, vanilla, bean, tincture. Vanilla, bean, tincture which is right here. Can you guys see that? That is vanilla bean tincture. That is vanilla bean right there. Very different from artificial vanilla. Very different. Vanilla bean tincture. And, okay, I know how much. That's been tincturing there probably about four years, the vanilla bean. About four years. Might be on the desk, might be on the desk. It should say orange sweet. There it is. <laughs> we found it. Awesome. There's the vanilla bean tincture. And orange sweet. So we got some top notes coming along. Okay, perfect. Orange Sweet is actually, it's not that used that often in, in, um, in perfumery. And the reason it's not used so often is because it's very, very sweet. So if you open a perfume with um, Orange Sweet, the rest of the perfume should be even more thick, even more rich. Uh, that's why um, 
perfumers, we typically use something like bergamot or, or, or something more fresh than orange sweet um, as a top note for perfumes. But this is a very rich, warm amber, very rich, warm amber, so it's fine to use the orange sweet with it. Um, okay, um, I know exactly how much this to do. All right, we've got the orange sweet in there. It's coming along. And you guys can clearly see the separation of the resins from the much lighter top notes. Um, you can see the orange and the lavender. The, those are the lighter colors. At the bottom, that's the oud. Um, in the middle, um, that line, that's the sandalwood. Okay, next some bergamot, beautiful, really nice bergamot. Bergamot's been getting so expensive lately, but I've got some nice fresh bergamot here. Um, there's a reason why it's the most popular top note. Bergamot is so nice. So, just a second. Awesome. This smells amazing, by the way, already, even without the rose and jasmine as yet. Okay. It really is. This is really going to be a very nice perfume. Okay. Um, Rose Auto, next. Now, here she is. Here's the Rose Auto. Um, I've had it in hot water, so um, everything's melted, all of the waxes and everything. Um, ready to use. Um, I'm very worried about this. Uh, this bottle is $500 Canadian. This bottle right here, Rose Auto, is $500. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so... So amazing. It's so deep in its honey profile. It's like deeper than like honey absolute. It's like this scent is. Can you smell can you smell this? Like it's it's insane, eh? Ooh. Right? <laughs> it's, Ooh. <laughs> it's different. It's pretty funky as well. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit funky because it's, um, there's a little bit of a funk, a little bit of uh, muskiness to, to mm -hmm. Real Rose Auto because there's a time lag between the time they pick it up and the time that it's actually distilled. And during that time, the rose, um, I don't want to say it rots or anything, but, but it picks up a, a funk. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of liquid honey and a bit of ginger. Yeah, liquid honey, ginger, it's very, very deep. Next, I have some rosewood. Um, we're not supposed to use it, but this perfume calls for it. Um, I'm a little bit worried about spilling this. Uh, my uh, second in command, can can you uh, get a um, another dish? We'll we'll pour this into it. Um, I think in the washroom, or there's maybe one a clean one in the washroom, or if oh wait 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 here we go. You know what? I've got a clean one right here. It looks terrible, guys. It, it, it's plastic. 
And but it's yeah, it's totally clean. Um, maybe my buddy's gonna get uh, a glass. So where am I? At, at the rosewood. But I'm gonna wait a second. So we've got some amazing materials. Um, the orris butter is gonna be fun to use too. Um, really, really, really amazing materials. My buddy's watching them. Uh, yeah. Wow. So this perfume, um, I'm thinking of making it into like three different parts. One at 100%, um, basically no alcohol. Um, and at 100%, that's, uh, I doubt not many people are going to buy that because it's going to be too expensive. Um, and then, um, we can also make, uh, it at, um, maybe 30% or something or 20% in jojoba oil. So Islamic friendly, um, a skin scent. And then I will make a alcohol perfume with it with this formula. Um, I'll make an alcohol perfume with it without musks and then an alcohol perfume of this plus musks. And the musks will be like just to support and just to throw, like to push all of these beautiful naturals out of the body, off of the wearer, right? Um, so Basically, I'll make a couple different versions of this formula, uh, going from most expensive pure to slightly more um, diluted, but more diffusive towards the commercial perfume. So we'll we'll give that a try, and of course there'll be different like price points for this perfume. Um, uh, I guess well well my partner is. Um, washing out the glass there. I, I will put in some of the rose, uh, rosewood. Got some rosewood there. Okay. And I'll wait for a second because I'm really worried about, you know, this is thousands of dollars worth of material right here. And I'm worried about Billing it, so um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to um, I am going to wait for a second. Wait for a second. That's crazy. That's this formula is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Awesome. Thanks. I'm sure it's fine. My assistant is much cleaner than I am. Um, I'm not dirty, but he's cleaner. All right, for the moment, we'll pour all of this in here. Not all of it, but eventually we'll get everything in there. Now I feel much safer, <laughs> you know? Okay, because this is a small desk I'm working at. All right, so for the moment, <laughs> All right, for the moment, I'll put this um, away from my elbows because, uh, okay, thank you. Captain Matt here, um, I knock stuff over, okay. Uh, okay, next is benzoin, natural benzoin, Styrax tonkanese, tonkensis, or what, I don't know, the Latin name. Um, it's a very boozy uh, resin, benzoin. And got some benzoin. 
Ben Soen's beautiful. It's like a very, very deep, woody, um, um, vanilla. A little bit spicy. It's got a little bit of cinnamon to it. Very, very warm. I would say it's like pure warmth, you know, benzoin is. Absolutely, just pure, pure warmth. Um, okay. Uh, next, a little bit of lemon. Um, that's a tiny touch of lemon top note. Can you? I got it. <sighs> this one. See? Well, there we go. The, th the thing with the um, top notes is that we keep like super tight plastic things because they have to remain fresh. Right? So that's kind of another tip for you guys. Um, whenever you buy... Um, it, it, it should be green. All of your citrus materials should be a green color. I don't know how it's showing up in the picture, but it should be green. So. And good bergamot is definitely a nice green. Um, that means that the air hasn't got to it. That means it's fresh, hasn't oxidated, oxidized yet. Okay. Um, next is the Jasmine Grandiflorum. Absolute. Well, at least this one came with a, a top. You can see I'm snapping it open. Um, Jasmine Grandiflorum Absolute from India. Can you smell that? It's, it's quite nice. It's very, very rich. Very rich. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it came with a little... That's nice. So... I can use that. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Oh, it might take too long now. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, perfect. Do, do, do. Quite a bit of Jasmine Grandiflorum. It's a really nice material. Um, nowhere near as expensive as the Rose Auto, but Jasmine Grandiflorum, um, absolute. I love it. It's so rich. Um, Keep going, keep going. It's so deep, it's so complex. The molecular structure of it, like the molecules um, inside of it, it's really, really, really complicated. Um, but beautiful, okay. Um, next, we have, okay, Neroli um, Begrade. Some Neroli right here. How much? It's very strong. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is petty grain. And then to this, I add a little bit of orange flower absolute. This this is this is petty grain be grade organic um, uh, from um, this one's from Eden Botanicals. They're quite good. I, I always recommend Eden because um, you can get all the GCMS all the reports from them. Okay, uh, yeah, and a touch of uh, this, which is orange flower absolute it's insanely strong um i don't know if you guys can see that this is orange flower absolute can you smell that from there um it's so funky just a touch just a touch it's, it's take take a take a whiff of this one it's quite unique it's it's very animalic it's very musky but it's it's floral but it's like very, very deep beeswax musky. Um, next is my Ain Breen Accord, which one day I'll show you guys how I make it, but this is quite a complex accord um, built around labdanum. So it's labdanum, 
uh, vanilla bean, um, it's labdanum, vanilla bean, um, uh, bergamot, um, a bunch of other different things. So, so this is kind of like a mini perfume, right? Um, you can you can look it up on the internet, the Aim Green Accord. But uh, yeah. Very, very rich. All right. Beautiful. It smells like cola. The Ambrine Accord. It smells like cola. It smells like Coca Cola. If you've ever smelled um, Lab Down, Lab Down kind of smells like that. Um, Next is geranium, uh, rose, bourbon. Where is she? I won't be using the patchouli today because I don't want it to get in the way of the um, oud. Is there the geranium rose anywhere? Geranium, maybe on the other, I don't know. It could be on the other side. Okay, got some geranium here. And again, guys, um, geranium slightly smells different from Rose, um, geranium, well, geranium's more minty. Um, so 1.3 divided by two, six, point six, six five. Cool, 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 cool. Um, next, I'm using a material, it's a natural material, believe it or not, but it's called Bois de Essence. Bois de Essence. And what it is, is it's a co-distillation between frankincense and cedarwood. So this company, I think it's for Manish, I'm not sure, they take frankincense and they take cedarwood and they throw it together and then they do the distillation from that, so it's really beautiful. Um, and I love using it. Can you hand it to me? The Bois de Essence is right on the table behind you. Uh, again, another 0.65 of Bois de Essence. Awesome. And frankincense, this material here, it's, it's so masculine, clean, a little bit peppery. It's got all the nicest qualities of both frankincense and a really nice cedar wood. You know, it's, it's just, it's an amazing, it's like a perfume in itself. I, I like it. Um, all right, 0. 0.65. Next, we have some vetiver, dark vetiver from Java, very smoky. Smoky vetiver, organic, from Java. You can't see the label, I'm sorry, but I promise you, it's, that's what it is. Look at, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's so thick, it's very, very smoky. Um, that's why you only need a little bit. 0.5. And it's really, really dark, you can see that. And it smells like it looks. It smells very earthy, um, very smoky. It's great in leather accords. Um, okay. And then the last material, guys, it's the Oris Butter. And it's also the one that you need least of because it's insanely powerful. And the purpose of Oris Butter is a, a textural purpose. It makes the entire perfume really smooth, um, really soft, really buttery, powdery. It's a really interesting material to use. Um, I gotta chop it up here. Oh, 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 oh. I dropped a little bit on there, okay. I gotta chop it up here and only need a little bit because if you put too much, it's just gonna take it, take over everything, you know. Just because it's a nice material doesn't mean you want to use a ton of it. Sometimes um, 
Yeah, it'll just it'll it'll ruin the perfume if you add too much orris powder, guys. So All right, that's exactly how much should be in there. Very cool. Very, very cool. We've got a small batch for testing. We'll see how you guys like it. Let's put this in here. I'm sure you'll like it. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, lots and lots of oud. As I said, 25% of this formula is that Hainan oud. Lots of rose auto. It's very beautiful. Um, and so what we'll do, hold on a minute, is I will stir this around. Stir this around, and we're going to have to put it on a heat plate. Um, wow, this is so rich. Unbelievable, man. Wow. Um, I'm going to have to put it on a heat plate and then stir it around. Um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah. So, um, I don't want to stop the video because I want to show you the whole process through the whole thing. So we have a heat plate. Um, and which I will bring here, right? So now we're done with the creation process. Now we'll mix. Awesome. Thank you, thank you. So we have a heat plate here. And you may have to retrieve a bullet. Um, we have magnetic bullets. They like spin, 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 spin around. And it will stir this um, perfume together. Um, This is amazing. Um, it, yeah, I, I, I'll plug it in. One second, sorry. I can plug it in here. And, um, yeah. One second. So I'll plug this in. And I'll turn on the heat. Um, there's a bullet inside of. Um, uh, the Ukraine perfume, the green one. It's on the windowsill there. Uh, on the windowsill, it's aging. So I'll put in like a little magnetic, um, like a little magnet into here and stir it around. In the bottom, is there? Yeah, you're gonna have to be creative to get it out of there somehow. So, but at the moment, I, I will stir this around and, and, and this is heating up. So the orris butter and um, all the waxes and everything melts together. It's going to take a little while. The orris butter can be pretty chunky sometimes. So maybe you have to pour into a different jar. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I need I need another. I need more bullet more more magnets. So this formula here is kind of inspired um, by Coromandel. Um, Chanel's Coromandel, which is basically well, it's a patchouli amber, really, um, but in place of 
patchouli, I'm using the Hainan Oud from, uh, from Jeff, from UC. And I think it's going to be a nice, it's going to turn out quite nice. Um, personally, I know that I will enjoy this one more um, in its modern perfume interpretation. Uh, like with alcohol and then also boosted with white musks. Um, because I like the molecules in my perfume to be like spread apart around me. And with this perfume, you would only need like one spray. You'll be set for the rest of the day. Um, and, and what musks do is it basically forces the molecules apart from one another. So, I mean, that's how I'll probably enjoy this formula. But you guys can enjoy this formula in any interpretation you like. I'll have different price points and I'll have different um, um, dilutions with oil, without oil, with alcohol, without alcohol, with musks or without musks. And so hopefully um, I can make everybody happy. But the formula itself is, you know, really, really nice. Um, Oh yeah, and, and if, we, if I, we are talking about musks, then um, the musks that I would use uh, for the um, modernized version of this, um, they themselves would have like no scent whatsoever, like nothing. Um, again, all they are meant to do is like to take this and, and put it on steroids, basically. So that's... That's the purpose of the musks. Um, but if you want something very nice um, for, um, I think this is, ah, this is for men and women, for sure. Depends which culture you're from. Um, in Canada, I would say, when we say rose, mostly people think women, but not necessarily. Um, and if you say oud, then a lot of people think men. So, um, Either way, it's a very, very, um, it's a, it's very warm, incredibly rich, in, in, insanely rich, insanely rich. Uh, in fact, it's so rich, uh, I will have to, um, send samples to you guys probably at 10% in, I'll, I'll do it with organic jojoba oil. Um, if I were to send you guys tiny little samples at 100%, you won't be able to read the perfume. Um, it's too dense, so it needs to be diluted a little bit, actually, to just enjoy it. So, um, you know what it's like? It's like saying, oh, I like, uh, I like cake or chocolate cake, and then someone coming along and saying, here, take the sugar, and then like drinking an entire bowl of sugar. It's not good, right? Uh, this formula is just too much. Oh, this is great. The, um, the orris butter has melted. Yay. That's what I've been waiting for. So the orris butter has melted. The orris butter has melted. And it's mixed into this. Yeah, so we'll do that now. We will put, um, I'll put some of this back into the little jar. And thanks. And here's the bullet. See this thing? It's got like a North Pole and a South Pole. Is it it's still recording? Good. It's got a North Pole and a South Pole. And it spins around. But to be honest, I was doing it. I don't really need it now, but um, uh, it's all mixed together pretty well. Um, and it was heated. Great, great. It's, we're at 45 minutes now. I know it's taken me a while to do. So let's make a 10% dilution. I'll put it in, I guess, in jojoba oil. Although, 
honestly, as a spray and alcohol, this thing is going to be way more readable. So I guess I'll do 10% jojoba, and then I'll do some sprays for people that prefer spray. Um, depends on the person. Um, okay, so this is well mixed. You can see the color. Take this off. This is well mixed. It can be uh, awesome. Thanks. Um, I get this guy back up. Okay. So I'll do some with some, I have organic, if you guys can see that, organic jojoba oil. So we'll do a 10% in this one, then I'll fill up some bullets, uh, some perfume samples using this. So I'll, we'll, I will go... Um, We'll make a 10% dilution here. Perfect. Okay. Like that. Some organic jojoba oil for those that prefer the oil. Even at 10%, guys, it's going to be so rich. You'll, you'll see. Even at 10%, insane. Mm. I guess we can do a 20% dilution. What do you think? Do 20% dilution, I guess. All right. That's usually what my perfumes are at, right around 20%. All right, we'll do 20% dilution. All right, this is a 20% dilution. can see that. That is a 20% dilution of a very, 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 very expensive perfume. In jojoba oil. You saw it? That's what it should look like. It's, that's how it should look. Really. Um, now, bullets, 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 many bullets. Here we go. Bullet one. I hope you enjoy. Here she is, bullet one. I hope you guys enjoy this perfume. So a lot of fun making. Bullet two. All natural, 25% oud, 10% Mysore sandalwood. A lot of rose auto. Um, 
lavender, benzoin, jasmine grandiflorum absolute, and real orris butter. The real butter is in there. And I hope when you get your samples, I hope you enjoy it. So I guess we'll sign off now. Um, I mean, you could sit here and watch me fill every single one of these things. Um, but I think I have your trust now. Uh, so guys from Udit and everybody else who's watched this video, please enjoy your day. Have an awesome day. These will be coming to you in the mail. I'll make a bunch of bullets with in the jojoba oil and then I'll make some uh, same 20% dilution in the alcohol. Again, I prefer the alcohol, but it's your choice. Please enjoy your day. Uh, it was fun making perfume with you. Um, be safe and um, be happy. Thanks, guys.